Cars, which were invented a century ago, dramatically changed how the world works. People get in these vehicles and go wherever they want, as it's much faster than before. It wasn't possible to really travel outside your state, much less your hometown. In my opinion, the car and the cell phone were probably some of the bigger technologies in the past few centuries. When phones came around and texting, which was about text, er, 20 years ago, people started to use their phones while in the car. The cell phone has made it much more dangerous to be on the road because so many drivers are concentrated on their cell phones rather than the road. For my stakeholder, I chose to focus on texting and driving, and more importantly, moms texting and driving when children are in the vehicle. I decided to research this topic because texting while distracted has become a very big issue with all parties. Texting while driving has been proven to be more dangerous than driving under the influence of alcohol. And I'm researching this topic and to try and prevent it as much as possible. I'm trying to convince moms to stop texting and driving at the wheel because with their infants in the back seat, they need to take the precautionary to be safe as possible. Although this is going to be very hard, I think it's vital to present this information and show the dangers of texting and driving, hoping they are less likely, likely to do it after the sources are presented. Even though texting and driving is banned in many states, including Kentucky, I still see people all the time with cell phones in their hands looking down at, looking down at it while behind the wheel. In this essay, I'm going to talk about parents in texting and driving and how it affects their kids. There are many articles online which shows the dangers of texting and driving and how it needs to be stopped. While looking on the internet for sources that supported my piece, I noticed there are multiple articles which showed the dangers of texting and driving. It was hard to pick in between multiple articles and facts because all of them explained in detail the dangers of driving with the cell phone in your hand. The source I found in the New York Daily News states that more than 50% of all U.S. parents text while driving. So it also goes on to explain that the likelihood of texting and driving increases with age and that males are more likely to text while driving as opposed to females. This argument in the article is, is to show that drivers, and more importantly parents with children in the car, need to put down their cell phones while driving because the likelihood of having a wreck goes up significantly. It also explains how the voice to text, text is almost in, as dangerous as typing out the letters. This shocked me because I think it would be much easier to concentrate on the road if I could talk into the speaker what I want the text to say. Furthermore, this article has taught me that there are many drivers out there that might not be fully concentrated on the road even though they are at an increased chance of wrecking. I just don't understand how someone would put his or her life in danger like this because a text can just wait until you are fully stopped and parked. If it's, not that even, it's, if it's that important of a text to send right away, you might as well just call the person rather than texting them. My next article is talking about the dangers of texting and driving. In this article, it discusses multiple topics which explain how the U.S. should stop using cell phones while behind the wheel. Things such as lead by example are explained in how, parents, how if parents text while their kids are in the car, their kids are more likely to text when they are behind the wheel. Become informed and active. This quote means to set rules while driving and take information and take information to your kids' schools and share it with students and parents. This chart that I found on the internet shows that almost a quarter of all wrecks happen because of a driver is on a cell phone. Even though talking on the phone isn't banned in any states, it's almost as dangerous while doing this because your mind is still on another subject. <clears throat> My next uh, picture I found on the internet shows the fatalities in the U.S. that are a result from texting behind the wheel. I thought this number would have been a lot lower considering, considering there are crashes for, no, for multiple different reasons and not just texting. Uh, the picture says 27% of adults admit to texting while driving. When looking up my next article, I tried to focus on texting, how texting has affected car crashes and how, exactly, how many exactly there were as a direct result of a texting driver. In the article, it says... In 2008, about 6,000 American drivers died in car accidents that involved distracted driving, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This is a quote from a CNN article which shows that thousands lost their lives just because a text was sent by a driver. 
Texting while driving can easily be prevented. It's harm. It's a harm to kids when their parents are on the phone at the wheel, and I believe parents need to get off their phone so they don't put their kids in any, any danger. I think it's very hypocritical when my parents argue at me when I'm driving and I'm looking at my phone at a sp stoplight when they do the exact same things. I can't really call them out because they are paying for my cell phone bill. The next image I found shows the um, percentages of people ages 12 to 17 uh, forty-eight percent of kids aged twelve to seventeen have been in a car with their parent when they've been texting. When looking up statistics that show texting and driving, there are many pages that showed how dangerous using a cell phone could actually be. In two thousand twelve, three thousand three hundred people were killed in distraction-related crashes. This is an alarming number, especially because texting and driving is illegal in over half the states. Overall, I think we need to put a stop to texting and driving. Before you put the car in drive, always remember the dangers of texting and driving. While, and looking at your phone may cause you or someone you know die. Drivers and parents overall need to learn that when you're in, on the phone, it not only affect, can affect your life in the long run if you get in a wreck, but also those in the car at the time. I wouldn't wish it on anybody to lose someone they love because they were sending a text to a friend. I think there needs to be a function on all cell phones that turns off the phone if you start the ignition of your car. This would eliminate many unnecessary car crashes and fatalities just because one person risked it. After researching all these sources and actually taking the time to find out these true facts, I don't think I'm ever getting behind the wheel to risk my life, the people in my car's lives, and the lives of the innocent drivers around me. One text isn't worth it all.